how to pick the best monitor for your Mac Mini. Guys, awesome for tuning in. I have today two Mac Minis right here, as you can see. I also have two example monitors and I'm gonna walk you to the five most important things to consider. So uh, why don't we just get started and look at the side card right here. And as you can see, aspect ratio, very important. The size is very important, as well as the panel type, the resolution, as well as the inputs that the monitor has. Those are all important considerations that you can keep in mind when finding the best Mac Mini monitor for you. And yeah, these displays that I picked right here are 27 inch displays, both with IPS panels. I think this is a sweet spot for the majority of users, in my opinion, 27 inches, very nice. And then also, how do you connect these to your Mac Mini? Obviously, uh, I can show you to you here, those are the connections that Mac Minis have at the back and the normal way of connecting your monitor to the Mac Mini would be over HDMI. And when you are shopping for a monitor, um, they usually all have HDMI. So let me quickly show you in the side card. Those are the various inputs that monitors can have. And as you can see, obviously there are more inputs uh, than just HDMI that monitors are selling with. Some they have the Thunderbolt, some they have the display port, some they have the USB-C and also the HDMI. And the consideration that I want to give you, maybe you want to use the Mac Mini as a stationary device, a MacBook Pro that you want to connect. So as soon, for example, if you're just connecting the Mac Mini, it's pretty straightforward. You only have, you just use HDMI, all the monitors have normally HDMI, you're cool. But as soon as multiple devices come into play, and that's something you can consider, then you might also want to consider, or if it's just future-proofing, maybe you want to buy a notebook in the future that has to use PC, then obviously you should right now purchase a monitor that has to use PC. Guys, uh, let's just uh, connect those, look at them side by side, and I'm also going to tell you about the panel types. Now you see I built everything up on the desk here for testing purposes. And we have the Intel Mac Mini first. I can show you this here, a little bit fancy. And then second, we have the Apple M1 with the Apple Silicon. And both displays are connected via HDMI for this test. Now, our one contender is the ASUS Pro Art Line. A very nice display for, let's say, graphics, photo editing, something like this. And uh, I particularly like that if displays have these direct buttons here so that you can quickly jump around and adjust settings such as brightness and so on. That's very convenient. Considering the ASO just right next to it, normally there's a little bit of a price differential. If you have the ASOS from Taiwan, I think it's a Taiwanese brand, and then the ASO is from Japan, and what that gives you is a slightly different build quality and features such as this brightness sensor so that detects the ambient light and can adjust the brightness accordingly. Then also we talked about display size. So as you can see, these are both 27 inch in a typical 16 by nine aspect ratio. 16 by nine is the super best selling aspect ratio. People love the 16 by nine. It's become uh, the de facto standard. And uh, yes, you can have displays that go beyond that and I can show this to you here in the side card like I told you earlier the 21 by 9 which is great because it gives you essentially some extra space at the sides. The ASO as well as the ASUS those are IPS panels so you have a great viewing angle stability uh, as opposed to some of the ultra wide or super wide displays. They sometimes are for example variable alignment panels where you may not find, or you, you're probably not gonna find the same colors, uh, especially the viewing angle. Quickly also looking at resolutions, those are WQHD resolutions, which I think on a 27 inch display works pretty fine. It looks all very crisp. I hear sometimes from customers, no, I want 4K, no, I want 4K. And of course, if you get a 4K resolution on a 27 inch display, it will be even sharper but 4K also uses a little bit more compute power. Please note that these particular displays, they do not have the USB-C. And what I'm going to do for you, I'm going to link below in the description 
uh, a model that has USB-C, usually the manufacturer has both. Now, my conclusion when purchasing the best monitor for your Mac Mini is 27 inch, in my opinion, is ideal for the majority of users. I've showed you the ASO, I showed you the ASUS, and both work great. Uh, we did look close up at the connectors at the back of the Mac Mini, and you saw those connectors. I told you, okay, depending on how much devices you want to connect to your monitor, if there are any additional devices accord, <laughs> that go beyond the Mac Mini, then you might want to look for different inputs, such as the USB-C. I walked you to the different panel types, uh, as you can, we can repeat that real quick here. And I told you that the IPS is my favorite panel type because it gives you that uh, very nice colors and viewing angle stability. I have shown you the most important points and uh, let me know in the comments below what other questions you have about the Mac minis or about monitors. In general, I will look at that and consider it for another video. Also for tuning in, I'm sure you're gonna find an excellent display and uh, take care guys. And because you just watched one of my reviews, you might also be interested in comparing the products that I just showed you against, for example, this LG Ultrawide 4K monitor, which is a 21 by nine aspect ratio. So normally the displays all have 16 by nine, but the ultra wides give you some extra flexibility and uh, especially the curved ones are great for gaming, but I'm more a video editing guy. Awesome for tuning in. I see you as a subscriber and in the next video. Take care.